Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Today we have something a little bit different. We have the reseller box. So as you guys know, recently I've started selling at the flea market. Maybe at some point I'll start selling on like eBay and stuff like that, but with life being crazy right now, the flea market once every couple months is what I can do. Um, but last time I did sell a bunch of clothes. I was actually really, really surprised. So Mandy, who owns the resell box, contacted me to see if they could send me, she could send me um, some boxes to review my channel to show you guys her site. Now, I recommend that you read her about us life uh, section in there because she is just the sweetest little thing. <laughs> she told me all about how she, you know, she was in nursing school trying to do all this stuff and life got crazy and she has two kids and she wanted to spend more time with them. So she started reselling like on Poshmark and stuff to try and make a little extra money so she could do part time so she could be with her kids more. And then it kind of just blew up and not too, not too long ago, she start, opened up her website to now start selling these to you guys because she wants to kind of educate and help people also kind of make the same decision that she did or help you if you were looking to start something like this help you along the way by giving you a good bargain for stuff that you can then sell on ebay poshmark swap meets flea markets or anywhere you like to sell things so there's two different kinds of boxes there's the bargain box which is gonna be more like old navy walmart you know like not the high-end type stuff and that box will be 120 dollars, and you get 40 items now this is going to be men's women's kids this is not a box where you're buying for yourself you're buying it to resell and then she has the reseller box which is more high-end stuff i wrote it all down so i don't forget so the resale box is 150 dollars, and then you're going to get a 600 dollars value so it's not going to be how many items you're going to get inside of it but you're going to get a 600 dollars value and then the reseller box plus is 275 dollars, and it's a 1200 hundred dollar value now all these boxes are 14.99 shipping in the usa but if you spend over 300 dollars, it's free shipping now, she's been selling out of the resale box quickly, so if you see it sold out, um, it will be coming back in. She might even say it on the website when she comes back in. We've chatted so much. <laughs> she's so sweet. We've chatted about our animals, life, buying new homes, and all these things. Like, she's kind of become a little friend for me. <laughs> um, so, without further ado, we are going to get into, I believe, the bargain box first. And I decided that if anything is my size, I'll try it on. Four items in here, plus I have no clue what's in the reseller box. I'm going to leave the box over here. Also, Paco is new, doing this new thing where I take all these toys out and I put them in his thing. And then he brings them all back. Just leaves them there. How's that comfortable with 40,000 toys up there? Just last night he bought out four toys. And he already had five in there. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to open up the box. Ugh. It's pretty jam-packed. It's really, really heavy. I was trying to show you. You see? It's kind of like that. Ugh. You'll see when all it comes out. It's pretty heavy. I couldn't even pick them up to do the thumbnail, so I had to do it on the floor. <laughs> so, let's see. And all these items also are brand new. So, you're not getting any used items. These are all going to be brand new items. I believe she says she gets some from, like, unclaimed mail or lost mail or some way. She buys them, like, bulk. So, this we're pulling out. Oh, this is a, a little kid's Star Wars. Ages six to nine months. And this is Droids Will Be Droids. Look how cute that is. That is super cute. And it says by Star Wars. I mean... That can't be a, a, I mean, that's gotta be pretty expensive. So I can actually put that in the flea market. Or yet again, if I know people that need it. Oh, look, there's another Star Wars one. Is it also six to nine months? Yep. And it says Wookiee in the Galaxy. Wookiees, Wookiees in the Galaxy. <laughs> How cute is that? That is super cute. I'm gonna ride a room over here. I should bring that box over here and put it on top of the box. And looking like we have a couple more onesies. You gotta get all these are Star Wars, six to nine months. Look at that. What does it say? Troublemaker. <laughs> Troublemaker. <laughs> this little wrap, all different types of stuff in here, not just for kids. The kids stuff does so well. Also another one, Little Rebel. I mean, brand new onesies. Too bad by the time I go to Rhode Island. Yeah, I think Ellie would be too, maybe... Maybe I'll be able to, I'll, I'll have a, a Stacy watch this and see if she wants any of these for um, Elijah. This is another one. I Too cute I am. These are so cute. Maybe one half kid. So we got a bunch of kids stuff so far. And that thing I'm pulling out is, this does have a tag on it. H&M. H&M, and this is a size Euro, Aussie, UK, 14 years. Oh, so this is a kid's shirt. 14 years, H&M. But a 14 for kids is pretty much like a small adult, right? 
I'm so worried. I don't think I'm going to try this one on just because it's white and I do have makeup on and I always, always get makeup. That's why I always get dressed before I put makeup on. And I wasn't going to wear makeup, but I was like, put your best face forward, Melissa. <laughs> but that's, yes, for this kids, it's a 14 for kids. That's really cute, H&M. Now, for me, H&M is a big brand. <laughs> I just spent $158 at Walmart on new work pants and work shirts, but I got like five pairs of work pants and six or seven work shirts for $158. All right, what is next? This is also H&M, and it is another 14 kids. Oh, I think there's a couple more. This is just a basic tee. And then another one, also by H&M. Another 14. This might be good for me to wear to work, too. Look at me trying to, like, take this stuff out of the box. I, want, I do want to try this on. I'm going to try this on. I'm going to try to... Actually, I'm going to try the gray one on. Just because I have makeup on, I'm going to try the gray one on and see how it fits. I may be shopping at some kids' departments. <laughs> All right, let's go try it on. All right, guys. I think we realized I can wear a kid's H&M size 14. I think I'm keeping this. I think I'm going to keep the other one, too. I think I'm going to keep them all for work. These are probably way better quality and longer lasting than the ones I got at Walmart. Okay. Score, score, score. I know I'm not supposed to be scoring for me. You're supposed to be scoring for, you know, you're selling, but score for me. All right, moving on. Well, I'm pretty excited so far. <laughs> all right, so we have another H&M. I believe these are all for kids 14 years, a.k.a. me. <laughs> I think also because I'm short <coughs> and makes it work because I'm short. I mean... I might resell some of these, but now I'm wishing I had, and I had to open this box before I went to Walmart. <laughs> and then, ooh, now just a black one. Same thing, size 14. <laughs> Good for me. All right, now we got a pair of sweatpants. These are Old Navy, and they are extra large. I'm guessing kids, kids extra large, Old Navy sweatpants. With the tags and everything. 40 items for 120. That's pretty good. Especially if you're a good reseller. If you're a good reseller and you know how to like, if you have a Poshmark and stuff like that. Which, I forgot to mention, when you click on her link, you can look at her, the resale website. You can look at her Poshmark. And you can also look at her YouTube. Where she, I think she made, at least there's one video on there. Where she kind of shows you packing up the resale box and going over kind of everything, how everything goes. Whoa. This is Delore. Yeah. Delore, size small. Hold on. Well, that is fancy. <laughs> that is fancy. And it's got like that half slip down there. This is probably way too long on me. Yeah, I would try it on, but it's like definitely way too long on me. This, this beautiful beading will be all over the floor. <laughs> and I just recently got rid of those big huge boxes that were right there from the palette. <laughs> Hard times at this house. But that's really pretty. I guess you could probably get like 20 bucks for that. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't resale things. I always try to, I always end up charging way too less than I should. And like even the people that say you should start a Poshmark. And I'm like, if I did, I'd probably put up things up there for like $2. And then it'll be all that stress and be having to ship things out and making like 10 cents. So it's like, <laughs> all right, now we got something in a bag. By Venus. Let me wait. One more. Take that. This is a US size 6. And it is a jean dress. Does it zip all the way down? It zips all the way down. <laughs> Am I trying on a jean dress? I'll try this on just because it's the first dress. I don't know how many things I'm going to try on this thing, but I'll try on this dress. It'll be super sexy on me. Here it is, guys. I like how it's kind of like form-fitting, so it really does make you kind of suck it in. Even though I still got a little work to do down here. But I don't think I'll keep it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'll resell it. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. It's different. I don't think I've ever owned a jean dress. Maybe when I was a child. But as adults, I don't think I've owned a jean dress. I'm going to try it on again later. Upstairs in the real mirror. And see how kind of how it looks on me in real life. IRL. All right, moving on. I can't even sit back and cross-legged because it's so tapered at the bottom. She also said that she did not sit there and pick out things especially for me. She just threw things in the box from the warehouse. So I thought if there was anything particularly special she did for me. 
I made sure of that because I was like, I don't want people, that's why I don't let people send me things a lot of times because I don't want people to doctor them up. I want you to get the same thing that I'm getting. So this one's also in and it says, Bellario, Bellario 2X made in China. Oh, this is a dress, the size 2X. I can't see it all. It's got a little bit of stretch to it, but you can tell, you can tell it's definitely a cotton blend. Is there a thing in here? Maybe somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there's that. This is a tight one. <laughs> and next I'm pulling out a pair of jeans. These are from Old Navy. And they are size 12, and they're boyfriend jeans. Looking like they're short. But this, yeah, size 12 Old Navy jeans. Like I said, I have all this stuff brand new. Because I bought mystery boxes off of like Poshmark that were all used stuff and some things would be like crappy and I paid like $25 for them. I got a lot of stuff in bags. This is another one of the same thing, the Bellario Ori. Looks like it might be a similar thing. This is a size medium. Did I drop something over there? I did. Whoops. I dropped on something. <laughs> this is a 3T. It says keep sparkling. 3T. This is by Cat and Jack. Well, I could probably bring this to for Ellie. She'll be like six months old or eight months old when I get there. I can't remember. <laughs> I could probably bring this to Ellie. She probably think that's really, really cute. I also probably like that. And it's a known brand. So like I'm bringing her stuff from Wish. Whereas like this material kind of feels like something that you would get off like Wish with that stretch to it. But it looks a little bit higher quality than that. So we got this dress. And these are things like at the flea market that I would probably sell for like five dollars. Usually all the brand new dresses I sell for five dollars. And last time they did sell pretty good. But the problem was all the dresses that I was selling were my size. So it's very limited to who's coming that day. But a couple people bought things for their nieces and their friends and stuff like that. This is a specially dyed. And this is Old Navy also, size small. I think it's, is this a men's shirt? It might be a men's shirt. Or... Actually, it might be a nightgown. Might be a nightgown. Specially dyed nightgown. It's got kind of a seam in the back. A little pocket in the front. Yeah, this has got to be like a nightgown. What size is it? Small. That's cute though. A little lime green action. I have a, if I didn't have a whole bunch of these things, I probably would keep this. A box that keeps going. Next we got this. Whoa, what is this? What is this? This is by Lychee. Designed in Germany. Is there any price size on anything? This is an extra small. This is like a fancy pantsy <laughs> dress. I'm not extra small, so I'm not trying this on. But it's very silky. Fancy. This would be something that I could possibly put up there for $10. Because at the flea market, it's not going to be like easier to sell high-end stuff because people are there for a bargain. Whoa. And I have to say I'm a bargain person anyway, so, oh my gosh, epic fail, everything's falling. <laughs> These are things that people cut, cut out in videos, and I just leave them in. It's life. <laughs> Alright, we got some more bag stuff, some more non-bag stuff. Now this one right here, <clears throat> this is an NFL. Girls. And it is... A 6X Girls Vikings. We got a little Vikings shirt. I mean, it's actual NFL. Where is the Vikings? Minnesota. Minnesota. But there might be a Viking fan here in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. You never know. Put it over here now. Stop the avalanche. We got another thing in the bag. I can't tell what the brand is quite yet. Yeah, this dress is a little tight. <laughs> Maybe because it's jean, it'll <laughs> give a little bit. This does not have a brand on it. So I do not know. It's definitely got to be girls. That's cute, right? A little tie-dye, a little, maybe a crop top for them. So I don't know what size it is, and I don't know, did it say on here? Nope. So I don't know what size it is, but it is cute. I could just put size question mark. <laughs> Why do I keep putting stuff over there? It's going to fall. Now we got this item right here. This one does have a tag on it. 
what is this? This is by Reebok. Medium support bra. Biggin. This is extra large. My boobs will not fit in this. Look at that. Reebok. That's a brand name. <laughs> this, this right here is a thing, like, if I did have a Poshmark, this would be the stuff that I would sell. I, I wouldn't even know what to do with the, at, like, things that cost $100 or something. I wouldn't even know. All right, this says Shein. So we know it's Shein right there. That's kind of cute. Is there a size? Oh, wow, it's, like, all open on the side. Can't you wear, like, a tank top underneath it? Is there a size anywhere? Yes. So it is a medium. That's really different. So like the whole side is opened up. You obviously have to, I mean, if you're bold, you just wear a bra underneath it. Or like a, like a bralette. <laughs> if you're bold. <laughs> so we got that right there. Put it over here, Melissa. Now, this is size small. It says on the outside. It kind of has that like look of stuff you got from Wish. Or the other sites. This is cotton. It has the same kind of like tag where it's just like a tag. There's no really real brand. Size small. Just like that. You know, I'm going to try this on because I feel like it's time to get out of this dress. <laughs> I want to sit back and be more comfortable. <laughs> I'm going to try this on, put my shorts back on, and then we'll take a look. And here we go. This reminds me, like it does remind me kind of like the overseas type shirts. But the funny thing is the shirt that I was wearing when I first started the video is actually from Wish. And I love it. This feels exactly like it. Very soft, cotton. I mean, this might be a worse shirt also. Why well, did I go to Walmart and spend all that money? I wish I hadn't taken all the tags off and threw away the receipt. Anyway, let's move on. Much more comfortable. <laughs> Alright, pulling out something that's not in the bag. And this is by Allie Grace. This is a 14W. And it is a shirt. So we got a shirt. Nice cotton. A little bit of stretch to it. That's nice. I'll put another one in the bag. This by Zoroya. Zoroya. And there's so many different websites out there now that are kind of like Sheen. This is a size large. And it's just a button-up shirt. A red button-up shirt. A little bit of gift to it. Pocket. You got that. And I'm pulling this out, and it is Cat and Jack. This is another one of the kid ones. This is a 5T. Oh, look how cute that is. A little tool. This will probably sell good at the flea market. And if I, I think I'm going to do a flea market note one before I go up to Rhode Island. And if I don't, then I can bring it up and see if Allison wants it for Ellie. I like that. I don't think my mom dressed me all like froofy when I was a kid. She should have. Alright, this next one is by... Cooler bar. Mean pronunciations are just not on point ever. But it is what it is. So this is it. Cooler bar. This size large. This time like a little just silky buttoned up shirt. So you're gonna have to plan out these things too because the next flea market I'll do will be let's see, I did it in April, I guess June. So I don't know how good long sleeve things will sell, but you always hold on to it until next time. I would give my left arm, maybe my right arm, I'll give my right arm to have a, like double house this size. <laughs> my house double size. Alright, so this one is by Uniqlo. Uniqlo. <laughs> Where does it say? I'll show it to you. And this is a size large. This is made in Vietnam. Better than made in China. So it's just like a little long sleeve shirt. Yeah. It's a little bit thicker. It'd be good for the winter. That's a size large. We're still going. And we still got the resale box. Now we're going to get a pair of jeans or something involving jeans. This is by Active USA. Yep. Active USA. And it is... I know it's another dress. What size is it? Large. So it's another dress. Also another like tapered jean shorter type dress. This will probably fit me too, but I think I'm done changing right now. <laughs> Still going. Next thing I'm pulling out. It says size 2XL. I think. Where's the slider? 
This is, oh, it's those, um, this is, who's it by? Malakaya? Okay, I'm not even saying that. These are the, um, type of shorts you wear when you're riding a bike. If you're an avid bike rider. <clears throat> you see, it's got the little thing to protect yourself. You know what's funny is my cousin's wife, Cecilia, was asking if I could ever get one a pair of these, but since these are 2XL, I don't think they would fit her. But, and people, a lot of people ride bikes here in Florida. It's a big, big thing. So they'll try to sell them at the flea market or bring them up there for a joke. <laughs> Either or. Like, literally, my suitcase is ready. Like, thank God my cousin Jessica's coming here next in May because she got to take some stuff with her. All right, this is also from Shein. And this is... Size small. Well, that's cute. I realize that you guys said like things like this are my color. I just don't think it's my color. It makes me like wash it out. But that was cute. But it's cut a little bit too low and it would show my tattoo and I would be annoying to me. But that is cute. I could probably sell that easily. Got some more Shein. This one had to stay. There could have been if somebody's like whole entire order. Like, God forbid they order like. 30 things. Hopefully they got that price guarantee or that, you know, seller's guarantee. What is this? Shein, size small. Is it as a wrap? Did it come with something else? Am I missing something? There's like no place to put like your arm or something. Maybe it's just a wrap. It's just something you put on. I could be wrong. Or maybe there was something else in there and this is the belt that goes with it. Maybe it's a bandeau tie. You tie it in the back. Not me, but you could. <laughs> so we got that. Getting a little crazy over here. We still got a good amount of things down here. Maybe not a good amount, maybe like four. All right, now we got, this is the name of the brand right here. And it is size extra large plus. What is this? <laughs> extra large plus. There's a 2X then. So we got another like sports bra. AKA or bathing suit. I don't know where the bathing suit could. I think it's more of a sports bra. All right. Oh, we got more than four. Just kidding. We got another Shein. Kind of like a mystery bag too. Mystery box. And these look small. These are... Size extra small or 34. Not my size. These extra small pair of jeans. They seem like pretty good quality. A pair of jeans I wear. <laughs> but I couldn't fit my leg in there. Maybe look at my thigh would get in there. <laughs> Next thing we got it also says Shein and it's looking like it's a medium. This is kind of that polyester type thing. It's like a long skirt. It has a little slit, a little slit action. You can see that, a little slit action. Get that, get that sexy on. Well, that's pretty good. If you're a reseller, it's pretty good. The other Shein, this one also, the bag's had a little rough time. Size small, and maybe it's the same thing. Nope. This looks like I know I'm holding this wrong. Maybe it goes this way? Maybe it goes this way? Oh, maybe it's this way? No. I don't know. It's the top of some sort. <laughs> maybe just one side scalloped? That can't be right. Maybe it's this. Is it this way? And that thing goes down? Well, I think it's this way. It has this thing here? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> you guys can figure it out for yourselves. I think we have two more left. Nope, three more left. Keep going and going. She in bikini. My bikini days are now over. I'm now a tankini girl. So this is a top and a bottom. What size? It's looking like a small. Or extra small. Medium? <laughs> so here's the bottoms. Tie on the side. Which tie on the side, I used to always be about it. Because like no matter if you're gaining a little weight, you just open it up a little bit. Lose a little weight, close it up a little bit. <laughs> and then this is the top. And it has underwire in it. 
medium. They're rather small. <laughs> that is not a medium. And then two more left. This is by Dynamic Athletica. UPF, UPF 50. Oh, so it's like these are um, like workout pants. These are size small. Definitely. But it has a little zipper back here to put stuff. Those are neat. I've seen people have like stuff like this. These are probably a decent amount. And they have SPF, UPF? What's UPF? I'm going to say SPF. SPF 50 for if you're outside running. And for our final item in the bargain box. Still got the whole resale box to go. Keep in mind, guys, get a snack if you're not ready. <laughs> this one's, oh, Star Wars 2. It's for kids, obviously, and this, uh, I guess size small. Small. These will definitely sell good at anywhere. Anything studying Star Wars will sell good anywhere. And this is, those are adults. That's a kid. That's a kid. Oh my god, look at the retail on this. $60. Cause Disney licensed. It says kids. Small kids. That looks like a small adult, no? Black try it on? I kinda think I do. I mean I guess it's a small kids. <laughs> I guess I do a small kids. Man, if this doesn't sell, I'm probably going to keep this sucker. Because it unzips right here, you can zip it and zip it back up. There's a little even, a little clasp up there. I mean, it's a little bit gummy, like I can pull it down. And like the crotch is down to here. But you can pull it up. So I'm about to go clean up. With this bargain box, I'm feeling the bargain. I'm also going to change because it's, like 80 degrees here and I'm dying. <laughs> but oh my gosh, this was 60 bucks. 60 bucks alone. Dang. All right, so I'm gonna clean up, open up the reseller box, and then we'll get to take a look at kind of what we got in that one. I think that box is pretty good. Don't you, Paco? And he said yes. <laughs> if you guys don't remember the shirt I got on Wish, it actually has the pocket. Remember I put Paco in it, but Paco was just a bit too big. But I actually just like it regular. <laughs> Nobody really knows the pocket there. If you're like out somewhere and you need some hands free, just throw it down in there. All right, so now we're into the reseller box. That's the one that's $150 and $14.99 shipping unless you spend $300 and you get free shipping. Now this is more of the higher end type items and you know easier to sell stuff that on your um, platforms. There's no amount you're going to get in them. You know you're going to get a $600 value. So without further ado, I don't know if I'm trying any more clothes because it's really hot in here and I can't turn the fan on because my fan since I moved in 17 years ago only had high. <laughs> the other two didn't work and I just never replaced it. <laughs> and I didn't want to turn the AC on either because then it would like be too loud in here. Without further ado, the first thing I'm pulling out, this is the extra large. This is Adidas. Or Adidas, whatever you want to say. So this is the extra large and it is retail value of $40, which I know any all these brands are very expensive. So I think one time I had somebody gave me a pair of Adidas. I might have bought my, my pair of Adidas one time. So we got this, Adidas, definitely brand name, definitely a good seller. Anything involving, like, I can't even think of the Nike. <laughs> and brand new that this is, Zara. And I said they also get items in that are just like really fashionable now and like things, new brands people might not know of. This one retails for $45 and it's a size medium. That's pretty. It's very silky. Looks like it'll be pretty short, but that is nice. I may have to look up some of these brands afterwards to see where they sell them at. All right, next we got Panache Sports. Panache Sports. And this is USA 32 Double D. Not me. Panache Sport. Is there a price on it? No price on this one, but obviously she probably looked it all up. Cup size B to J. <laughs> oh, wrong way I'm pushing it. So this is a bra for a bigger chested woman. I wouldn't do anything to this. Anything to this. So we got that. 
Next, I'm pulling out. This looks sparkly. What does that say? ASO? I've heard of that. What size is it? And what is it? Got a little bit of a snag right here. And this is ASOS Design, size 6, fancy dress. <laughs> so it goes like this. And there's buttons. Where the buttons at? I don't know. In here? Does it stay open? I feel like I'm holding this wrong. But you got this right here. So this fancy, fancy dress. Maybe it doesn't button up. Maybe it's just a very open front. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something. So we'll go over here. There. I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> it's probably all just me, guys. <laughs> There's probably snaps somewhere on here. <laughs> but we got this right here. Very sparkly. I tend to find that these things, when I wear them, I get super duper itchy. They're like so pretty, you like want to wear them, but it's like super duper itchy. So we got that. Next, I'm pulling out. This is Roxy. Also a very, this size large. Retail for $55. Roxy is a, Roxy was a big brand here in Jacksonville. Size large. And this is just a dress. That's pretty. Very soft. Very well made, that Roxy. Look at this. I have to pull this out next. Look at this sucker. This is Anthropology. Is there a price on it? Oh my gosh, really? Retail, $98. That's why I shop at thrift stores. And this is by, it's Maeve, by Anthropology. $98 for a sweater. Who pays that? I don't get it. Like, if I, if I put this up on Poshmark for 50 bucks, would somebody actually buy it? <laughs> I don't know how it all works. <laughs> Alright, next thing I'm pulling out. Monroe. It says, I am not plastic. I'm biodegradable. This made of, made, this bag is made of plants. You know, that's fancy ready. Yep, Monroe. There's no price tag on this one. This is a size small. Ooh, that's soft. Ooh, if I was into a crop top. This will be the crop top I wear. I love soft stuff like this. But there we go. And you guys can feel free. I'm not going to sit here and look up every single item that doesn't have a price tag. If you want to look up these things and see if you can find them and see the cost of them. To see if it was the value as it was supposed to be. Feel free. This next one is by Brooks. It's extra large. No price tag on this one. I mean, if one thing is $98, we already know what to do with better. This is Run Happy, extra large. Run Happy. It's a regular right shirt. But obviously it's a high end. I wonder if that would fit Rob. I wonder if he'd like that. Or I'll try to sell it. <laughs> Either or. I mean, for this one being like, you think, I would thought like it was maybe going to have like five items, six items in it. It'd be like, oh, this is value $600, but it seems like there's a lot of stuff in here. Not as much, obviously, as the other one. This is Gymshark. Gymshark. I'm not going to know many of these brands. You may. This is... Size extra large. Gymshark. Workout thing. He says Gymshark all the way around. And it's got a shark. I'll give it in. <laughs> Sorry about that. Next thing I'm pulling out is this. This is our extra small and it is daily practice. It's like a yoga type thing. Is there a price tag on it? Yep. Ooh. $70. $70. That's extra small. Is it a romper? It's a romper. We got a romper, guys. I'm holding it the wrong way. Hold it the wrong way. <laughs> We got a romper. That's an extra small. Doesn't seem extra small. Let me try it on later. <laughs> got that. $70. Jeez. These are a little, nice little ball. These are Madwell with magic pockets. 26. 
10 inch high rise skinny crop. These are crop pants, unless you're really short. And I am not a 26, I'm like a 28 or 29. <laughs> yeah, definitely not stop any me. Where's these extra pockets? One. That's normal. That's normal. 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 The pockets inside? Well, now I'm intrigued by these extra pockets. <laughs> With magic pop. Oh, there's, ma there's magic. <laughs> They're not extra. It's just magic. We'll make some magic. Well, I'm about to spend an hour on this. <laughs> but we got these. Was there a price tag on them? No, no price tag. So we got those. Too small for me, but plenty for somebody else. And yet again, it's supposed to be a reseller box, not a me keep it box. <laughs> now we've got Athletic, Athletic Girl, the Power of Show. It even comes with a hair tie. <laughs> and this is size extra large, 14. Oh, this is the girls. So it's Athletic, athletic Girl. And even though I fit into that 14 top, I will not be able to put into these <laughs> 14 pants. But they are fleece on the inside. How nice is that? These feel so soft. Even the outside feels like super duper soft. Is there a price on it? $54. $54. To spend on your child. My mom didn't buy me anything brand, brand name. We talked to Kmart, we talked to Walmart. That is what it was. I was so stoked when I was, I think like 16, she bought me a few pairs of bongo jeans. All right, this is MSR, $49. This is a men's shirt. It's extra large. Oh, what's the name of that brand? Under Armour. <laughs> Under Armour. This is an extra large, loose Under Armour shirt. Something fell on the ground. I don't know what it is. So it has that Under Armour thing on the side. I'll see if Rob wants this. Yes, he, he might be a large now. I don't know. But if not, I will sell it at the flea market. But that's nice. Under Armour is a really expensive brand. Uh, probably should buy like more expensive clothes than I do. Um, I'm gonna take this out. This one is J. Crew. I don't think I ever walked into J. Crew store or Anthropology. Ninety-eight dollars. <laughs> Crazy. Ninety-eight dollars, and this is what they get. A shirt. I mean, literally, could you put this on Poshmark for $50 and actually get it? Are people so sorting out these things? I do not know. <laughs> All right, next thing, this is another Gymshark. Let me take the size out there. And this is, let's look small. Size, I don't know. Probably in here somewhere. It looks small. So, gym shorts. It's like pants. These will be definitely like skin tight. Not fitting me. I got those. The size are probably in there somewhere. I just can't find it. It's all dark in there. So look at another pair of jeans. I was correct. So these are Michael Kors. Michael Kors. I know that brand. Well, I don't know it because I've never owned. Whoa, Michael Kors. It's that uh romper that I got in that mystery box. I like that romper. <laughs> What size are these? These are, well, the price was marked out and I cannot tell what it is. And these are 34 waist, 30 length. 30, is that men's then? Men's will just have length. I think Rob's a 34, 30. Yeah, 34, 30, these are men's jeans. Probably will sell pretty well, but also, I think Rob's a 3430. I'll be like, babe, I got you some Michael Kors. <laughs> you wanna you wanna feel cool? You can now. That's a pretty good find. I know that those must be expensive, even though the thing is marked out. The next thing is Banana Republic. This is size medium. Man! Banana Republic. $69.99. Size medium. Just a little skirt. Just a little skirt. $98. How much? $69. <laughs> wow. Now she, like obviously she says she's selling out of these boxes like crazy. Like she can't even keep the, the stock in. 
she's wanting to more people to buy the bargain boxes, but you know, she says she still will get the stock in for the other ones, but like not many people are buying bargain stuff because they're buying it for like their Poshmark and for big reselling. But these are pretty good. <laughs> Next thing I'm pulling out is 11 pairs. 11 pairs, extra large. And then it just says, fake news? President shot dead. Howard Beach team gets the max. John Lester sentenced to 10, 30 years. Tyson by KO. Cut down by Sniper in Dallas. Headless boy in topless bar. So it's all just like random fake news. I'll go real slow. Well, that's different. Is the price on this? No. Is it extra large? Is that a man's? It's probably extra large men's. I'm thinking. That's a weird shirt. <laughs> like, obviously, fake news is that like a big thing. They have like tons and tons of them. I think we got a purse. So we got a purse, and this is Kipling. Kipling? Oh, look at a piano. Oh, it's got a little bit. What is this? Is that a monkey? I'm kind of like a monkey. Kipling, Kipling. $59. Retail for $59. Crazy town. I mean, I know why she does this too, because like her, her Poshmark is jam-packed, like filled. So obviously you get all this stuff. You've got to kind of, not only do you want to help others, but you also need to kind of get the stuff moving. Next thing I'm pulling out is, still going guys. <laughs> this is box lunch. Get some and give back. This is size, this is Star Wars. I don't know what size it is. MD, maybe it's medium? What's on it? Tano? Tano? This must be from some movie that I don't, I'm not a big into Disney. <laughs> I watched Disney movies when I was young. I am enjoying playing Disney Emoji Blitz, but I don't know, like I have had to text um, Allison a couple times when I'm playing Disney Emoji Blitz and I'm like, who's this? Where are they from? And she knows immediately, like, that. I'm just not, I look two and a half hours from it, not a big thing. <laughs> Alright, now we got 501 high-rise jeans, women's shorts. These are at Urban Outfitters. $69! Crazy. What size are they? 28. Any possibly look like me? I'm not saying I'm gonna keep them. I have like two pairs of jean shorts. Like, how many pairs of jean shorts do you need? Is that me, baby? Fancy though. Fancy the stuff I have. Levi. When did Levi get so expensive? Didn't they sell Levi at like Kmart? Or am I thinking about something else? Alright, we got another pair of jeans. These are Judy Blue. Not heard of it. These are 1331. 1331. High waist. 1331. Is that kids? Oh, that looks big. Oh, size 13. Maybe it's size 13 and 31 inch length. Maybe they do the lengths, but most people don't. In the United States, maybe it's not a United States brand. A little rip at the bottom. Yeah, those are like probably size 13. Okay. Not bad there. It's nice actually pulling out a bunch of brand new items instead of those other mystery ones I was doing that were all like obviously used. This right here we got... This is also Disney. This is size medium. I guess MD is medium. <laughs> oh, this is a uh, enjoy all the little things. This is uh, uh, Stitch. <laughs> this is Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Now this is actually Allison's, well, I think that's her favorite character. So I might, after she watches this, I'll tell her to be like, hey, do you want that? I'll bring it to you. Come on about the given. That's why I go up there. Like, they do so much for me when I go up there. I really don't have to pay for anything. They house me. They feed me. They drink me. They, they do everything I need. So it's nice to be able to give back. Women's best. Enjoy the difference. Okay. Women's best. That's all it says. <laughs> Is there a price on this? No price on this. It is a small crop top. So it's like kind of like one of those, like, Workout crop toppy type things. That's the, can you see it? That's the emblem. Not heard of that brand, but obviously they're higher end. It's getting a little crazy over here. How many more we got left? One more, guys. 
Final item. Johnny O. $90. As you can see, right here. Oops, you can. Oh, gosh, I see. $98. And that's the brand, Johnny O. And it is a size medium. It does seem very, very soft cotton. So we've got a shirt right here, just a regular, a regular old t-shirt. Just a, just a t-shirt. $98. And you know, there are people out there that they'll only be like, I only wear Johnny O's hanging out shirts. <laughs> I know. I, I'm just not, I'm, I'm, a, I'm more of a bargain girl myself. I don't get brand names as much. To me, it's like, how good does it look on me and how does it fit? But I know you guys, there's a lot of you out there that are resellers. I know from all the comments and that's why I decided this would be a good thing to show you guys. Or for people who are thinking about getting into reselling, it's a good way, like say you start off with like a bargain box and see how it goes, or you can start off with the with the, the resale box and see how much money you can make off of it and then buy another box. Or if you're feeling bold, you buy enough two boxes so you can get the free shipping too. Like I said, I talked to her, I've been talking to her for about four weeks now. It took me a while to kind of get back in the cruise and all that stuff. And we've had like conversations that has nothing to do with this box. Nothing to do. And she is just a sweet, sweet person. And I'm all about trying to help out people who are sweet and nice and, you know, Get out the bad people out of the world. She's a women-owned business. And she was able to stop working entirely just to do this. It makes me think, if I quit my job, which I can't, I can't. I love my clients. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> if I quit my job, I could literally just get into reselling. And then that and YouTube probably would be enough for me. But I love my clients too much. And I can't leave them. I gotta give me at least 10 more years. Or until my back gives out. <laughs> so like I said before, I'm gonna put the link... Down below so you can check out her website, check out her Poshmark, check out her YouTube so you can see her actually packing one up and kind of see how it goes. I told her she should make some more uh, YouTube videos showing like her warehouse, showing all her stuff. So hopefully she does do that because that would be really neat to kind of see the process or like packing an individual's box and things. That'd be fun. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, Papa wants you to. How does he sleep through all this? I don't know, because we've got 900 toys up here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.